Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I just want to, to share with you that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is universal. But what we see here is that it's not so universal. It's selective. Some have the right to, to self-determination. If you belong to the Western world, if you have uh, 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 the countries that have the power to protect you, maybe you will have the right to exercise your right of self-determination. But in our case, in the Kurdish case, in other cases I'm not going to mention, we are not in the good side of the implementation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And this is actually a shame for humanity. Why nations cannot exercise their right of self-determination about their culture, about their resources, about their way of life? Why we cannot choose our way of living? Why we should be subjugated to others' way of governance, of regimes that we don't agree with, that they kill us, they bury us, they disappear us? Why we should support us? Why there is no one who is helping us to achieve in a peaceful way our right to self-determination and choose the way that we want as peoples to exercise our right to self-determination? So I call upon all of you that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights must be for all and, mu and, must, and, and must be ex exclusive for some. So uh, this is my appeal from this uh, situation. And I want Kurdish people to take leisure from us. We, the Sahrawis people, has, have this confidence in the United Nations. We have, they give them, put in their hands during 26 years of our life. We can say it very fast. 26 years of our life, we have give this uh, uh, rights and determination to the United Nations to help us to achieve in a peaceful way, as he says, our rights, uh, but we didn't succeed, unfortunately. You know why? <coughs> because the Western world doesn't allow us, especially France, who every time we try to reach a very strong uh, uh, achievement, towards her, they are the ones who are trying to threaten with the veto. So I want to call to the people to take the, if you can, achieve in a peaceful way what you want, do it, and don't expect nothing from UN. Thank you.